procession of undergraduates is led by the Students' Marshal, Dr. Linda Dahlquist, a 2011 Presidential Teaching Professor and Professor of Psychology. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise as the faculty and staff and the platform party enter the arena. The faculty and staff procession is led by the faculty marshal, Dr. Carlo Di Clementi, the 2011 Presidential Research Professor and Professor of Psychology. He is joined by staff marshals, Dr. Constance Pearson, the 2011 recipient of the Presidential Distinguished Staff Award for Professional Staff and Assistant Director, Institutional Research, and Ms. Ethel Willie Haskins Cotton, the 2008 recipient of the Presidential Distinguished Staff Award for Non-Exempt Staff and Insurance Program Specialist, University Health Services. The platform party is led by the Grand Marshal, Mr. Timothy Noe, President of the Faculty Senate and Associate Professor of Visual Arts. Good morning. The 57th commencement exercises of the University of Maryland, Baltimore County will now be in order. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for our national anthem, sung today by Ms. Madeline Waters, who is a junior majoring in music. Gentlemen, please remove your hats or caps during the anthem. So proudly we hailed 
at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave please be seated Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to introduce the president of UMBC, Dr. Freeman Hrabowski. Now in his 20th year as president, Dr. Hrabowski has brought tremendous energy, vision, and leadership to this institution. He has helped connect the university with individuals, companies, foundations, and agencies that have brought new resources to build and sustain distinctive programs in undergraduate education and graduate education and research. We also know that he recently appeared on 60 Minutes, Talk of the Nation, and has met with President Obama in the White House. We are very proud of Dr. Hrabowski. <laughs> Thank you, Professor Noe. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning again. Good morning. It is a beautiful day. The, the older I get, the more I realize how important families and friends are in our lives. And so I am delighted to welcome all of the families and friends of our to-be graduates today and to, to take the time to celebrate together in this busy holiday season. Students, I know you appreciate what your family members have done for you, that you sit here today because of the support you've received. So I'm gonna first ask all of the family members and friends of our graduates to stand. Why don't you stand for a minute? All the family members and friends. Graduates, give your family members a hand. We will be awarding a bachelor's degree to Salman Sultan today posthumously. And I'm going to ask for a moment of silence, and I'm going to ask the family members of this wonderful young man to please stand as we have a moment of silence. The family members of Salman to please stand, and a moment of silence. Thank you very much. <laughs> Graduates, I also know that you appreciate all that faculty members and staff members have done to give you support, so I'm going to ask our incredible faculty and staff to please stand so that they can be recognized.
and you see a number of people on the platform. I'm going to ask members of the President's Council, the Presidents of the Campus Senate, and the Presidential Award recipients to all stand. Please give them a hand if you would. And now, graduates, the rest of this day really is about you. This is your day to savor the moment. Many of you have been waiting for some time for this time to come. In some cases, you've had people saying, when will you graduate? And you said, soon. In other cases, you didn't believe it would happen. I had people emailing me at 1 and 2 in the morning just saying, Doc, I didn't think it would happen, and it's happening today. And so enjoy this day. It is yours. Would you give our graduates audience a round of applause first? <laughs> graduates, I want you to really savor this moment because throughout your lives, there'll be periods of ups and downs, and you always want to take those good moments, almost as if it's a picture, when you've got your family and your friends and your professors all here to say, well done. Enjoy this moment as your own. We have people today graduating and with jobs already, in many cases, in other cases, they're going to be traveling. We've had people are hired already by a variety of companies and state and national agencies, by school systems. Uh, amazingly, IBM and Morgan Stanley and NASA and Northrop Grumman, Social Security Administration, Verizon. So every day I'm hearing from some graduate about a job, a new job. What is significant is that some of you, from my perspective, know that you're going to change the world already. I'm going to ask all of you who plan to teach children to stand. Anybody who's planning to be a teacher, please stand. And would you give them all a round of applause? It has become my tradition to say to audiences around the country, no profession is more noble than that of teaching, because the power of education to transform lives is more important today than ever. Now let me share a few stories. Each of these graduates has a story, and stories inspire. And so we've chosen just a few to give you a sense of the breadth and depth of this class. Our first graduate will receive a bachelor's degree in political science with a minor in public administration. During her time here, she has been a Franz Merrick scholar and a McNair scholar, and she has been highlighting her commitment to both service and research. She has focused on the issue of obesity and the rise of obesity and eating disorders in America. In fact, she spent a summer researching the impact of food and life choices on eating disorders. During her time here, she's also applied her research and her interest in the community, working with Project Health in Baltimore, helping residents to find the services from health care to education. And she mentored children in the CHOICE program. She plans to attend medical school and, and pursue a naturopathic degree, emphasizing holistic medicine. Katie Henry, would you please stand so we can applaud you? Katie Henry. Katie. Our next graduate receives his bachelor's in mathematics today with a minor in physics. He has been working on this degree, towards this degree, for the past 20 years, taking classes while working full time. Give him a big hand, first of all, for 20 years of persistence. <laughs> And amazingly, he plans to apply for a doctoral program in mathematics. We are inspired. Coy Heron, please stand so we can applaud you. Coy, wherever you are, give him it. It's wonderful. <laughs> Our next graduate receives her bachelor's degree in history with minors in ancient studies and art history. Her study abroad experience in Rome cemented her interest in studying antiquities fraud and she is currently applying to grad schools in Italy, and she hopes to work for Interpol. Um, Robin Burkowski, please stand. We are very proud of you.
Robin's mother, Linda Durkos, works in our library. Our next graduate will receive a bachelor's degree in biochemistry and molecular biology. She exemplifies the varied interests of graduates. She's an honor student, a researcher, a Meyerhoff scholar, a frequent volunteer. She recently co-authored a paper published in the, in the most prestigious of journals in science, Science Itself. And she has interned at the Harvard Medical School. She plans to attend medical school this fall. Interestingly, she says that one of her favorite classes at UMBC has been restoration to romantic British literature. She also says that she believes what Ralph Emerson said, to be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment. I am delighted to ask Gowrie Kaland Kalandevo, Kalandevo, Gowrie, please stand, please. Our next graduate receives her bachelor's degree in biology. She's a Sherman, he is, excuse me, he is a Sherman a teacher education scholar. He has been giving generously to the UMBC community and to the wider area. In fact, he co-founded the campus's uh, effort for, American, for the American Cancer Society, the Relay for Life event, and he has led a number of alternative spring breaks focusing on community service. He regularly volunteers with uh, multiple sclerosis swimming and is an aquatic therapy program uh, member working with that group at the Y of Maryland. Beyond helping others, he's also been very impressive in encouraging other students to give back. He plans to get his master's degree in education here at UMBC, and then he's going to be one of those teachers teaching middle school science. Ben, Benjamin Davis, please stand so we can applaud you. <laughs> Our next graduate receives his degree in ancient studies with a minor in modern languages and linguistics. He was attracted to UMBC because of the Humanities Scholars Program and the study abroad opportunities. From the beginning, he knew he wanted to travel, and travel he did. He spent an entire year studying in Italy and Spain, and he won an undergraduate research award, making it possible for him to travel to Sardinia to comb over Latin texts written 1,700 years ago. He graduates today fluent in Italian and Spanish. He's working on German and ancient Greek. He has been recommended for the prestigious Fulbright Research Grant. He plans to return to Sardinia and eventually to earn a PhD in linguistics. Give this budding scholar, Billy Johnson, a hand. Billy. This next graduate will receive a bachelor's degree in interdisciplinary studies. That program allows students to work with faculty to combine different areas of interest. This student has a concentration in critical thinking and perspectives in the law. He came to UMBC five years ago by chance, he says. He wanted to pursue a college education. And as it turned out, his girlfriend lived in this area. So he enrolled at UMBC and began working in the Division of Information Technology. Since then, he's become well known as not only a serious student, but as the go-to guy for fixing our computers. Fittingly, his capstone project explored the legal implications of how internet providers handle the flow of information on the web. He credits his faculty advisor, Stephen McAlpine, with helping him combine his technological expertise with his interest in law and philosophy. He plans to continue working at UMBC and will be beginning law school in the fall. By the way, that girlfriend that he moved here for is now his wife and works on campus. Would you give Avery Green a big hand? <laughs> We're always proud when staff members are working. Are there, if there are any other staff members who are graduating today, please stand. Any other staff members graduating today? They're working so, there's one, give her a hand. Would you give her a hand, please? Yes. And do we have any members of the military or any veterans graduating today? Oh yeah. yeah. We are working to attract more and more veterans to UMBC and focusing on 
giving them the kind of support so that they can be successful here. They've done so much for our country, we owe them so much. Finally, there are students in today's ceremony wearing red cords. These students have earned a 4.0 GPA. I guarantee you 4.0s are very, very hard to come by at this university. So wherever these outstanding students are, please stand if you're graduating with the 4.0. Let's see who you are. That's amazing. It's amazing, first of all, that you are 4.0 students. I think you noticed that we're four out of the group. You can go to some places and you'll see large numbers. It says a great deal about just high standards, a nurturing environment, and how outstanding our students are. It's now my privilege to introduce a very special young man. Colin Wojciechowski is the student regent. He is a, he is a UMBC student and he is the only member of, student member of the Board of Regents of the University System of Maryland. He's a junior here. Uh, he's a Sunheim Public Affairs Scholar, majoring in political science and media and communication studies. What you need to understand is that every member of the board is also the boss of the president. So this is both my student and my boss, and I have no doubt that one day he will be the governor of the state of Maryland. Colin, come and bring greetings, please. Colin. <laughs> Well, good morning. I'm delighted to join you and extend best wishes from the University System of Maryland on behalf of, this, on behalf of the Board of Regents on this tremendous day. It is an honor to share this occasion with our president, Freeman Herbowski, who has done a tremendous job leading our campus. Under his guidance, UMBC has joined the ranks of the nation's very best public universities, and Dr. Herbowski's efforts have been justly recognized most notably with the Carnegie Corporation's 2011 Academic Leadership Award. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give Dr. Hrabowski another round of applause. It is an honor to be here to recognize and congratulate you, the graduating class. What you have accomplished has taken hard work, persistence, and dedication, and all of us on the Board of Regents are extremely proud. My pride in joining you this morning comes from two distinct yet interwoven areas. I am pleased to join you in my capacity as the student member of the University System Board of Regents. It has been a tremendous privilege and honor to serve you and learn from you this past year. You have been my role models, you have been my guides, and although I serve as your representative, you have been my leaders. I am also extremely proud to be here this morning as a student here at UMBC. I know firsthand the hard work and dedication it has taken each of you to reach this milestone. And like you, I have a great appreciation for the high caliber of the education you have received. The leadership of this university, the faculty and staff, the coursework and research capacity are all among the best in the nation. No matter what direction your life now takes, no matter what challenges you will next confront, know that your education here has prepared you well. You've been given the best possible foundation for your future, and the world is yours for the taking. Decide what to be, and go be it. Once again, congratulations to all of you, and know that the entire University System of Maryland family wishes you all the best in the years to come. Thank you very much. Colin is from Anne Arundel County, and we're very proud of him. And now I am pleased to introduce our interim provost and senior vice president, uh, a professor of physics here, Dr. Philip Rouse. Please give Dr. Rouse a hand. Thank you and uh, good morning, everyone. I'm honored and privileged to offer congratulations on behalf of our entire scholarly community, which we call our UMBC. We are immensely proud of your accomplishments and the way in which your individual curiosity, hard work, and energy has invigorated, enhanced, and forever changed our community. It is important for you to know that as you leave our campus, you are not leaving our community. From this day forward, you will continue to have the opportunity to contribute to UMBC's success and reputation. 
You will join the tradition of UMBC alumni who through their life's work continue to advance our understandings of our own humanity, our democracy, the natural world that surrounds us, and most importantly, make a difference in the lives of others. We must, of course, acknowledge that we are all shaped by the influence and examples of countless others, including our parents, grandparents, friends, mentors, and teachers. I know you will also feel great pride, I know you will also feel great pride in your family and your friends who continue to support you through this journey. I know you will also feel great pride in our university and in our outstanding faculty and staff who together have created, maintained, and nurtured our exceptional scholarly community. On your behalf, I would like to thank our faculty and staff for their tireless effort, commitment, and passion in supporting the success of our students and our university. Thank you. Today, as you cross the commencement stage, you will step across a, both a symbolic and an actual threshold. You are entering the next phase of your life and approaching the new horizon of your career. Like so many transitions in life, this may feel like a step from what is known to what is unknown. This is simultaneously both exciting and perhaps just a little bit scary. But know that we are confident in you and the preparation that you have received here at UMBC. My greatest hope is that your experience as a member of our community will have provided you with the opportunity to reflect on the values that we share. Values such as excellence, commitment, hard work, inclusiveness, and respect for the dignity of others. Perhaps the most important of these is integrity. Put simply, that means putting your values into action. I believe that that is the way we change the world. As your provost, I hope you will forgive me for asking you one final question. What principles and values will guide you throughout your professional and personal life? This is, of course, an intensely personal question and the answer does not come easily or in the flash of a moment. It is, in fact, a question that requires a lifetime to answer. And so, may you enjoy a life rich in the knowledge that each day, your work and your relationships are a true expression of your values and ideals. And, at the end of each day, you will know that you made a difference in the lives of others. And at this point, I want to recognize Mr. Kenneth Pittman, a member of the UMBC Alumni Association Board. Ken. Ken is one of more than 55,000 UMBC alumni worldwide. He graduated from UMBC in 1980 with a bachelor's degree in economics and is a senior vice president and senior wealth advisor for PNC Financial Services, Services here in Baltimore. Today, he will present each graduate with a memento on behalf of the UMBC Alumni Association. Please join me in thanking Ken for his support of UMBC. Once again, I offer congratulations to our graduates. Well done. Graduates, I, I encourage you again, not only to savor this moment, but to continue thinking, as our provost said, about all of what you've done to get to this point. What you can know is that you will excel. In the last two months, I've had chances to meet or see some of our graduates who are now faculty, faculty member at, in classics at Columbia University, to the chair of neurosurgery at Vanderbilt, amazingly what UMBC alums are doing. And so you're entering the next phase, and we know 
that you will succeed. Will the candidates for the bachelor's degrees please rise? Dr. Rabowski. Dr. Rouse. Dr. Rabowski, I have the great honor and privilege of presenting the candidates recommended by the UMBC faculty for the Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, and Bachelor of Science degrees. Upon the recommendation of the faculty, and by the authority of the State of Maryland, given to the Chancellor of the University System of Maryland and to the Board of Regents, and by them entrusted to me, I hereby admit you to the bachelor's degree which you have earned during the course of your studies at UMBC. In token whereof, you shall be given a diploma with all of the honors, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto pertaining. Please be seated. Now will the candidates please proceed under the direction of the students marshal, Dr. Linda Dalquist, and the commencement officials to the platform to receive their degrees. Mm -hmm. Dr. Patrice McDermott, Vice Provost for Faculty Affairs will begin the reading of the names of the bachelor's degree candidates. And please, we would ask that all remain, uh, that all of the graduates and their families, please remain in the arena until the ceremony is concluded. Right. And families, we encourage you to applaud or whatever you want to do. This is your time, so enjoy it. Students, you know, we all have things we wish for. I often, as I listen to my provost, our colleague with that lovely British accent, I keep thinking if I had that accent, I could raise so much more money somehow. <laughs> All right. Will the faculty in Africana Studies please stand while I read the names of your graduates? Leanne P. Clotter. Will the faculty in American Studies please stand while I read the names of your graduates? Molly Davis. Corey Johns. Patricia Miller. Benjamin H. Smith. Hope Stone. Will the faculty in Ancient Studies please stand while I read the names of your graduates? William R. Johnson, magna cum laude. Amy C. Wygan, magna cum laude. Will the faculty in Dance please stand while I read the names of your graduates? Mariah R. Appleton. Nicole Borguno. Desiree kunz Naktri. Will the faculty in economics please stand while I read the names of your graduates? Salman N. Alam, Afalabi Aliabisu, Muwat Ala Layan, Anastasia Andriadis, Udoka Anale, Samuel Hart Boivmov, Mark A. Chafer, Derek B. Chen, Wan Jin Cho, Steve H. Chu, Candace A. Dixon, cum laude, Mi Jong Frankenberg, Christine He, Sung H. Huang, Klo H. Kyung, Namal Mendes, Olam Yokum Adolake, Eric Oquindo, Da Young Park, Nicholas Parrott, Harshan Patel, Um Lewami Piri, Vishal Piratala, Matthew Pottere, Michael Ray, Patrick Robsian, Kencheng Singh, Osama Khalil Solangi, 
Donald E. Spencer, Brendan Treichler, Kimberly Wykick, Brady Wolf, Salam Sultan, awarded posthumously, represented by his father, Mr. Sultan Ashra. Our next reader will be Dr. Lynn Schaefer, Vice President for Administration and Finance. Will the faculty in Emergency Health Services please stand while I read the names of your graduates? Liam T. Gee. Will the faculty in English please stand while I read the names of your graduates? Donald H. Daniels, Johanna C. Doty, Isabel R. Garcia, Philip M. Hyotis, Emily M. Jackson, Chelsea Lorene Lundgren, Joshua Rosenthal. Will the faculty in Geography and Environmental Systems please stand while I read the names of your graduates? Brad Borowie, yeah. Leah M. Correa, Michael E. Fields, Brian D. Gust, William Nathaniel Hathaway, Heather N. Hogan, cum laude, Salila M. Khan, Belinda C. Lister, Chisholm C. Okeke, Lieutenant Nathan Rolls. Brandon M. Schroeder. Zachary James Tate. Matthew J. Waller. David L. Zamostny. Will the faculty in Health Administration and Policy please stand while I read the names of your graduates? Wajiha Abbas. Chidiabele O Agha, Ogenaruna J Agori Iwe, Timothy Paul Andlitz, Lashanda Armstrong, Hafsatu A Berry, Manjit K Biring, Casey N Birch, Cum laude, Andrea D Calizo. Yao S. Nangui, Danielle J. Greenhow, Sarah Haney, Cum Laude, Isidore I. Iguaguagu, Desiree Regina Johnson, Ilana Katz, Charles Quo, Claude O. McKay, Janet A. Alambiwonu, Victoria O. Omoparayola, Victor J. Peterson, Elizabeth A. Pickett, Ho Vu, Tak Ching Jenny Jang. Our next reader will be Dr. John Jeffries, Dean of the College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences. With the faculty in history, please stand while I read the names of your graduates. Safi A. Ahmed, Robin C. Burkowski, Joy Davis, Daniel J. Harris, Benjamin L. Jaskowski, Edward D. Lee, Anthony R. Martinez, Katie Lynn McCready, Idifayu A. Olusupo, Stephen P. Robinson, Gabriel John Spiro, magna cum laude, Jamal L. Weaver, David M. Weingrad, Denise M. Yingling. Will the faculty in Media and Communication Studies please stand while I read the names of your graduates. Sadie N. Brown, Mitchell Brendan Case, 
Elizabeth S. Chong, Richard M. Conlon, Dana M. Gullard, Amara Roy Hall, Courtney L. Haupt, Magna Cum Laude, Robin A. Jackson, Cum Laude, Jessica L. Monzo, Cum Laude, Kelly Lynn Russell, Bridget Marie Scanlon, Emily Michelle Smith, Magna Cum Laude, Will the Faculty in Modern Languages, Linguistics, and Intercultural Communications please stand while I read the names of your graduates. Soon H. Ahn, Magna Cum Laude. Stephen T. Allen. Holly Catherine S. Britton, Magna Cum Laude. Abigail A. Bruner. Bridget M. Flynn, Summa Cum Laude. Satumi Hewitt. Nona N. Nookbox. Will the faculty in music please stand while I read the names of your graduates? Miko A. Goodhill, Sean V. Mercer, Magna Cum Laude, Charles G. Miller, Cum Laude, Robert W. Wolk, Magna Cum Laude. Will the faculty in philosophy please stand while I read the names of your graduates? Alexander R. Cogswell, Cum Laude, Patricia O. Patricia o. Mikowski, Brendan G. Mazier, Marla C. Rosado, Scott M. Steinbach, Adam G. Vinson. Will the faculty in political science please stand while I read the names of your graduates? Efren I. Berrios Bike, Julie Burge, Cum Laude, Christopher C. Bowie, Jan B. Choi, Cynthia Dong, Cum Laude. Ashley L. Dodson, Kamal Heather, Stavros Hockius, Magna Cum Laude, Catherine E. Henry, Cum Laude, Ashfaq Khan, Melissa A. Mitchell, Kevin Joseph Alone, Samuel C. Pang, Alicia Sabrina Saunders, Tara N. Shure, Kira A. Stoiko, Gunas H. Vahora, Raymond O. Van Horn, Brandon Thomas Wolven. Our next reader will be Dr. Diane Lee, Vice Provost and Dean for Undergraduate Education. Will the faculty in psychology please stand while I read the names of your graduates? Brittany N. Ebel, Tyler J. Alzen, Nafiza Ahmed, Natalie Lori Andrade, Ariel Lee Ayers, Ramey M. Bassioni, Rebecca Y. Black, Summa Cum Laude, Coffee B. Blankson Wood, Dua Bukhari, Camille Andre Chamun, Taylor D. Chapman, Magna Cum Laude, Rodney H. Cobb, Rebecca Cohentius, Sakina A. DeGross, Andrew Moore Delgado, Rachel M. Devlin, Stephanie M. Duty, Poonam Ethikotu, Opeyemi M. Faisaze, James Kyle Feliski, Andrew P. Garalde, Salia Gafar, Shannon Glascock, Sutharas Gosakwatana, Brittany Elaine Hackey, Magna Cum Laude, Renee Deanne Huff, Colleen M. Harrell, Damian E. Wett, Elizabeth A. Johnson, Sherry D. Johnson, Erica L. Katulka, Muniba H. Khan, Jason K. Kim, Stephanie Marie Colbell, Elena M. Custerer, Cum Laude, Brian Jung Boon Lee, Amanda K. Joy Linzel, Shay C. Mueller, Sapur Nicole Nakashian, Juliana A. Afori, 
Tracy Adaku Ojuku, Ogechuku Nwagego Okeke Cum Laude, Grace P. Park, Justin D. Park, Kimberly Nicole Partridge, Magna Cum Laude, Sierra N. Patterson, Hasa Grace Perlman, Cum Laude, Anusha Pandu, Evan M. Rains, Catherine Elizabeth Reeder, Ryder, <laughs> Gina Maria Ricker, Tamira Robeson, Melissa Sandoval, Summa Cum Laude, Allison M. Shoon, Rebecca Hart Sefton, Amina Shaiza, Emma G. Scatterup, Nicole Smalls, Christian Song, Stephanie Spencer, Morgan Ashley Taylor, Olean Oteyebo, Chris E. Tebalt, Cum Laude, Laura Viar, Summa Cum Laude, Kelsey Walker, Mallory E. Weller, Brianna E. Wirfs, Jenna K. Wolf, Cum Laude, Erica Young. Our next reader will be Dr. Janet Rutledge, Dean and Vice Provost for the Graduate School. Will the faculty in sociology and anthropology please stand while I read the names of your graduates. Brianna L. Allman. Lindsay N. Baker, Stephanie M. Beal, Giselle R. Burkhalter, George W. Burton, Joshua K. Cho, Daniel I. Gorman, Tiona T. Gray, Jessica Marie Hampton, Ashley B. Harrison, Laura Marie Howard, Emily A. Cranach, Melissa A. Moore, Amber C. Myers, Say N. Park, Mark C. Parkhurst, David A. Roys, Chelsea Ann Sherwood, Sade A. Stanbeck, Yawase Crystal Tingba, Daniel L. Towson. Will the faculty in theater please stand while I read the names of your graduates? Michael H. Hathaway, Sean M. McComas. Aja J. Morris Smiley, Ariel E. Turpin. Will the faculty in visual arts please stand while I read the names of your graduates? Benoni D. Alnut, Julia N. Anderson, Katie E. Beecham, summa cum laude, John W. Carter, Summa cum laude. Abigail Elizabeth Cook, Summa cum laude. Janelle K. Crawford. Kenneth M. Crawford. Caitlin E. Delacerdo, cum laude. Joseph G. Dillard. Samuel Joseph Ganger, cum laude. Lydia Jane Hartnett, summa cum laude. Daisha Nicole Jackson. David R. Lee, magna cum laude. Say R. Lee. Tiffany Liu. Jack D. Michael. Brenna F. Miller. Megan Monty. Brian Andrew Rowe, Abnet T. Schifferall, 
Laura Ashley Sparks, magna cum laude. Rachel A. Sweeney. Courtney D. Vitek. William B. Weber, cum laude. Joseph Widener. Our next reader will be Dr. William LaCourse, Professor and Chair of Chemistry and Biochemistry and Interim Dean of the College of Natural and Mathematical Sciences. Jihee Yu, cum laude. Will the faculty in biochemistry and molecular biology please stand while I read the names of your graduates? Wamaka Daiki. Hadra H. Abib, cum laude. Gauri Kulandavel, summa cum laude. Rana L. Shihata. Will the faculty in bioinformatics and computational biology please stand while I read the name of your graduates? Cullen B. Lee. David Z. McAdoo. Will the faculty in biological sciences please stand while I read the names of your graduates? Ayubami I. Ariwodla. Haveria Ayub. Gina Castano. Samantha J. Daly, Ezra M. Duad, Benjamin S. Davis, cum laude, Amy R. De Torres, Tarim Galani, cum laude. Victor N. Ugano, Bradley P. Hauk. Adeswa R. Isra, Anitra M. James, P. So Johnson, cum laude, Mohammed Abdul Qadir Jabori, Alvin J. Kennedy, magna cum laude, Marilyn S. Keeley, Terry B. Kim, cum laude, Alina Y. Lee, Peter W. Lee, Dusit Natrakul, Saman Nakuvat Tak, Aaron Y. O'Connor, Julian A. Ulunbiwanu, Ashley S. McConnell, Daryl Omer Mayer, Anne N. Pham, Amy C. Porter, magna cum laude. Joseph R. Retainer, Sony K. Serin, Priyanka Shahira, Sande J. Sun, Margarita A. Tararina, Lee Wam K. Teklaham Anat, Julio Vega Torres, Michael J. Zook. Will the faculty in chemistry please stand while I read the names of your graduate? Christina R. Teixeira. Will the faculty in mathematics and statistics please stand while I read the names of your graduates? Brent W. Alexander. Daniel J. Budzinski. Eric D. Batud. Christian E. Bolino. Jordan D. Car Cater, magna cum laude. Michael J. DiCarlo, Ian M. Frost, Coy L. Heron, Patrick M. Murphy, Marisa H. Roof, Samuel Reed Smith, Christian N. Steinman, Jordan D. White. Will the faculty in physics please stand while I read the names of your graduates? Joshua M. Laskin, Stephen A. Lacars, Alexander A. Merzadu. Please read this along. How's that? Our next reader will be Dr. Warren DeVries, Dean of the College of Engineering and Information Technology. Whose department? 
Tyler S. Schmitz. Will the faculty in chemical engineering please stand while I read the names of your graduates? Christopher Mostris. Yelazar Rosenberg. Nicholas E. Shelock. Will the faculty in computer science and electrical engineering please stand while I read the names of your graduates? Alex P. Banerjee. Jeremy A. Collins. Charles A. Dixon. Jeffrey R. Garcia. An P. Ho, cum laude. Justin J. Kim. Whoa, I got, I got a drink of water on this one. Gusalavi Golayas Mabahu Mole Nung Umbi. Mark P. Pallone. John J. Seymour, cum laude. Jeremy H. Sloan. Max Spector, cum laude. Matthew Christopher Sponer. Zachary Stankelwick, check. Thomas A. Steenbach. Brian Thomas Stevens. Patrick G. Sykes. Colin J. Taylor, cum laude. Matthew J. Euchre. Richard W. Von Tossel, magna cum laude. Christopher J. Watt, cum laude. Will the faculty in mechanical engineering please stand while I read the names of your graduates? Mark A. Bailey, William Bankard, Matthew R. Busuri, Hong Yu Dong, Scott R. Dumpy, Jonathan E. Edmonds, Gregory A. Fannin, John David Hall, Keith R. Hill, Andrew A. Horton, summa cum laude. Chow M. O, summa cum laude. Anju J. Kapedia. Brian Kim. Corey J. Krieg. Matthew J. Osborne, cum laude. Celeste R. Poli. Joshua C. Shanti. Sujay A. Soman, Celestia E. Stinson, William T. Vidala, David T. Will, John Wotowitz, Cum Laude, Hua S. Wu. Our next reader will be Dr. Tony Morera, Vice Provost for Academic Affairs. Will the Faculty and Information Systems please stand while I read the names of your graduates? Adebi P. Aluko, Jesse L. Arredondo, Saipi I. Lavarapu, Tony I. Baig, Ashley L. Barrett. Felipe R. Batigne, Eric F. Bautista, Tyler James Vocals, Magnum Cum Laude, Kenneth B. Brown, Michael D. Canary, Robert A. Charles, Sumi Cheng, Raymond A. De Guzman, Sean A. Engel, Zerwin S. Fernandes, Jacob A. Finkelstein, Mohamed T. Fraz, 
Wen Dong Ha, Ahmad Heidi, Todd W. Haynes, cum laude, Benjamin S. Halpern, George A. Hemonas, Jeffrey Wong, Richard D. Hutchings, Bora Hong, Enosi Imoisili, Matthew J. T. Jenkins, Matthew J. Calvert Brenner, Bong W. Kong, Burton K. Kim, Scott C. Kim, Patrick R. Cramp, Norvik Kachatorian, Pedro Antonio Landa, Christopher Lavery, Elizabeth K. Leon, cum laude, Devon L. Lynn, Jordan C. Lincoln, Quanon Lu, Gabriel Russell Lockett, Kevin Edward Machkovic, cum laude, Mosla U. Mahub, Chance A. Monroe, Clifford Moose, Mike C. Nam, Leon A. Nufville, Anthony O. Ogide, David R. Ort, Kevin Osu Setar, Arun P. Rajiv, Matsili Y. Rodriguez, Scott Robert Hoffman, William M. Rowe, Hamad Salam, Ashwin Satish, Vera Scordis, Matthew G. Smerdon, Kai Suk Song, Shanawaz G. Tarapore, Zachary C. Taylor, Oana M. Tibu, magna cum laude, Sarah Ann von Briesen, John W. Willeford. Our next reader will be Dr. Judith Ranch, interim dean of the Erickson School of Asian Studies. Actually, not interim, dean of the Erickson School of Asian Studies. <laughs> Will the faculty and management of aging services please stand while I read the names of your graduates. Kola B. Bakre. Brittany Irene Hall. James Reese Peak. Andrew Jacob Ross, cum laude. Hymanot A. Yaliwiker. Will the faculty and interdisciplinary studies please stand while I read the names of your graduates. Elizabeth Arias. Brandon Avery Green, cum laude. Our next reader will be Dr. Richard Barth, a Dean of the School of Social Work. Good morning. Will the faculty and social work please stand while I read the names of your graduates? Akpin A. Abba. Jason G. Adkins. Lauren G. Avarella. Elizabeth Caitlin Davis. Kristen A. Edwards. Jatna E. Fortuna, magna cum laude. Esther F. Hadato. Sophia Arroyo Hidari, cum laude. Sharon T. Holland. Anna Marie Lucian, cum laude. Fatimata Mohammed Ali, cum laude. Faye D. Riston, 
and Brian T. Haas. We are almost there, almost. It is such an exciting time. We ask everyone to remain seated. We'll be out of here in 10 minutes, all right? 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Before I ask you to turn your tassels, it has been my tradition to quote the words of UMBC's first president, the late Alvin O. Kuhn who spoke to the first graduating class 40 years ago in 1970, and he said these words. If you bring to the future the same personal qualities and personal commitment you brought to this campus as students, good and important things will happen to each of you as well as to those around you, and the university will be proud to have played a part in your lives. And now, graduates, I leave you with my own thoughts about your future. Be confident, knowing that your education, your UMBC education, has given you a solid foundation for the rest of your lives. Know that if you persevere, and we know you will, you will reach your goals, though you're certain to be challenged along the way. Remember that your dreams and most important, your character will determine who you will become. Your character will, will be reflected most clearly in the courage you possess and in the compassion you show for others. Be true to yourselves and be true in your relationships, always reaching out to elevate and to inspire. Undergraduates, I am delighted to tell you that you may now turn your tassels. <laughs> you are now officially alumni of UMBC, you will always be connected to us and we will be connected to you. Always remember this is your home. And now at this time, I'd like everyone to rise and stand as we sing our alma mater. The words can be found on the inside back cover of the program. Please remain standing until the completion of the alma mater and the recessional.
Please remain standing as we recess. The President of the Faculty Senate, Professor Noe, will now lead us out. Will everyone kindly remain standing until the platform party, faculty and staff, and graduates have recessed? Families and friends are asked to meet the graduates outside of the arena. Congratulations, graduates, and enjoy this fine day.